Your Only Move is Hustle, aka Yomi Hustle, is a fighting game that exists. Somehow. It also completely lies directly to your face because there's at least three other moves in this game other than Hustle. Yomi is a turn-based fighting game, and that shouldn't be nearly as interesting of a concept as it is. Yet somehow it is that good of a game that I have this many hours on it. Which really says something considering the fact that I don't play that many fighting games. Please do not look at my hours on the Justice 2, I'm begging you. This game just scratches that very specific part of my dumb little unga bunga caveman brain in the exact right way, simply because of how fucking good the concept is. To give you an example, here's what the average Yomi match looks like. Anyway, I'm just fucking with you. Here's what an actual Yomi match looks like. Um... Oh, what about... Uh, you hardly have a fucking pick I'm one, dude! I'm trying to kick your ass! The way each match works is that you pick from your list of moves and adjust them in the ways that you want them to hit. And once you're done, you press this funny little button right here, and your opponent does the same until one of you beats the absolute shit out of the other. I initially discovered this game because a video of this kind of insane shit popped up on my Twitter feed, and upon seeing it, I immediately knew that I had to get this game. I convinced my friends to buy it, and we all proceeded to spend the next six hours straight playing it. That's how fucking good it is. Buy the game already. Earlier I said that this was a fighting game, and while that is is true, I lied to you, because it's actually more of a fun, interactive way to psychologically torture your opponent and or friends. Elijah, if you're watching this, I'm really sorry about that last game we played. Please come home. I'm running out of excuses to tell the kids. The way this game works is by having you select your individual moves to use against your opponent, whilst they also do the same thing, until one of you has the opportunity to put the other one in a meat grinder of a combo. And once that happens, I'd like to introduce you to your two new favorite moves, lock in and hold. Getting caught in one of these big brain combos gives you the time to think about the important questions in life. Why didn't I just use Roll? When would they finally remaster Fallout New Vegas? Who thought games for Windows Live was a good idea? RIP to a real one. Dude, look at this blurb. What the fuck was 2010 advertised? What the fuck? This game is essentially chess, but as a fighting game, because it rewards skillful use of your abilities and timing over raw attack damage. For the most part. The main philosophy behind this game is most famously said in an iconic quote said by my mate Theo one random Tuesday night on a Discord call. If everything is overpowered, then nothing is overpowered. Yeah, you try and make sense of that one, dickhead. Each playable character in this game is just a very intense version of the traditional archetype that they're based off. You have four playable characters in this game. Ninja, Cowboy, Wizard, and Robot. Ninja is a class of people who enjoy playing out a combo that lasts long enough for my wife to give birth to my firstborn son, Gregor, only for it to do about 70 damage total. Wizard is a class that is either played by cowards or the most terrifying motherfucker you've ever seen in your life. And you better hope that you play against a coward, otherwise be prepared to face the wrath of God. Cowboy is the textbook definition of nothing personal, kid, and robot. If you main robot, you deserve to be shot. Going over the classes more in depth, you have Ninja. This game's version of a stance fighter, utilizing pure weaponized ADHD, Ninja somehow combines speed and the full power of crack addiction to beat your ass six ways to Sunday and still somehow only come up with enough damage comparable to a light cough. But don't underestimate him. This rogue fucking unit could dash so far up your ass in a single turn, the only move you'll be capable of doing is praying to God that you can somehow parry whatever the fuck he's about to throw out. What Ninja might lack in damage he more than makes up for in movement and speed. Able to slide kick under your attack at light speed, jump kick to launch himself forward, and able to throw out about 20 fucking projectiles and then swap place with any of them at will. Ninja is a character based around you using absolutely 100% of your undiagnosed ADHD available to you purely just to fuck with your opponent for so long that you cause death by a thousand cuts. Which is funny considering Cowboy is the one who actually has that move. Cowboy is your jack of all trades character, but also, more importantly, and I say this as a cowboy main, an absolute nightmare to play against. You can understand why my friends don't want to play against me anymore. Cowboy is a character where almost every single attack has insane potential, from teleporting directly behind your opponent to straight up pulling out a gun and shooting a delayed bullet to really put that final cherry on top of the go fuck yourself cake. Insane attack speed paired with multiple teleport abilities and a gun where one of the attacks is to literally just throw the fucking gun at your opponent is simultaneously the coolest looking shit in this game and the most bullshit to play against, because once a cowboy gets the tiniest crumb of advantage, you are beyond fucked. I see it! The opening thread! 
In a game where every character is absolutely busted, Cowboy has a way to just be slightly more fucked than everyone else. His slashes are some of the fastest attacks in the game, even beating out ninja's attacks sometimes, and all of his special moves are some of the most varied skills to combo around in the entire game. Oh, and you also have a gun, which on top of the normal gun things you can do, you can throw it at someone, and it'll shoot them after it hits them, which is an extremely funny way to piss off your opponent. Have you ever wondered what it's like to have fun? Ever wanted to pull off the flashiest spellcasting combos? Have you ever wanted to have the power of the sun in the palm of your hand? Well, get in line and buck the fuck up, because the wizard's gonna figure out all that shit while you decide which of his projectiles you're gonna headbutt first. Got a wizard buddy gang. We love casting spells. Wizard is your typical zona type character, but don't let that fool you. You are fucked at any range when you play against this guy, because he's a slimy little fuck who likes to fly. So how do you balance that gameplay? You give him a health pull that means he dies in about six fucking hits. Wizard can do shit like throw a giant wall of fire at you, all the way down to literally just spinning you around to an avoid an attack, among many of his other insane moves. Oh yeah, and most importantly, they can do this. Fuck your mother. Robot. Fucking robot. Robot is the grappler. You wanna grab someone in front of you? Command grab. You wanna grab someone in the air? Kill process. You wanna grab someone as a fucking car? Clutch. I woke up in a noble this guy will cut your health in half in two attacks, and I am not joking. This shit hits harder than the realization that I still have a fucking Twitter account. For how strong robots grab moves are, the rest of his attacks are equally as devastating. I mean, after all, you can literally call down an orbital death laser just for funsies. Even though Robot is mainly a grab-focused character, you can't forget about how good his other moves are, like Earthquake, or Flamethrower, or even the funny reference button. Happy and if you somehow ever get bored of any of these characters, the modding community for this game has you more than covered. The modding community for Yomi adds some insane shit, like new characters, different stages, and most importantly, this. So no matter what, you'll always have some new bullshit available to you that'll keep you coming back for more. So yeah, anyway, buy this game. It's extremely cheap and extremely fun. Honestly, it's been some of the most fun I've had on a fighting game, and it's genuinely something that despite being so niche, ticks a lot of boxes of being a great game. So if you like fighting games or just torturing people, I highly recommend Yomi Hustle. Final score? Yeah, good.